Hi, I'm Robin. This is a Tech Tips video from Turquoise Coast Computers. Today we're going to be talking about how to install Windows 11 without using a Microsoft account. So since 2008, Microsoft have been encouraging people to sign into Windows with a Microsoft account instead of a local account. There's quite a few benefits to this. It helps you access a lot of Microsoft services a bit more seamlessly. But some people find this a little bit overbearing and for security and privacy reasons, uh, they prefer to sign into their computer with a local Windows account. So in Windows 8, this was just an optional thing. You could sign into Windows 8 with a Microsoft account if you wanted to. This was similar with Windows 10 when it first came out in its first iterations. As Windows 10 developed with Windows updates, Microsoft had become more forceful about using the, the Microsoft account to sign in. Uh, it's first started without being particularly transparent how you would sign in with a local account. Um, then in recent upgrades, they've made it so if there's a network connection present when you start up the computer for the first time or install Windows for the first time, it's gonna ask for you to sign in with a Microsoft account, but you could still disconnect the network card or disconnect the network connection and uh, you'd be able to sign in, it would give you the option to sign in with a local account. Uh, in, in the more recent versions of Windows 11, uh, this appears to not be the case. It, it insists that you find a network connection to sign in and set up the computer. Um, at present, this is only forced on Windows 11 Home. You can still sign in with a local account to Windows 11 Pro. Um, but there are rumors on the grapevine that they intend to do the same thing with, uh, with Windows 11 Pro. So now we're just gonna go into uh, three different ways that you can still sign into Windows 11 with a local account. So it is worth considering that Microsoft don't intend for people to do this, and this could have sort of knock-on repercussions going forwards. Um, they could release an update in the future that is of the expectation that everybody using Windows 11 is using a Microsoft account because that's how they designed the system to work. And if you have created one of these local accounts, it potentially could cause issues in the future, um, especially with two of the methods because they go completely against how the setup process was supposed to go. So we'll just go through these three options now. Okay, so the first option we'll start off with for signing into Windows 11 without a Microsoft account is the potentially the least problematic one because it's not really bypassing any of the uh, Microsoft setup procedure. So we'll just go through the normal Microsoft setup. Okay. okay, so with this first method, what we're gonna do is sign in. If you already have a Microsoft account, sign in with that. If not, you can just create a temporary one. Okay, so now we're logged into the computer using a Microsoft account. What we can do is go to the start menu, type in users and click add or edit users. And then we can come down to add an account. And this is where it's gonna give you back the options to sign in with the local account. So you click, don't have this person's sign in information. Add a, add a user without a Microsoft account and then you can just type in a local user account. Then we can go into here, 
change the account type, change that to an administrator, click OK. And we can sign out of the Microsoft account. Sign back in as the local user. Okay, so now we're signed in as a local user. We can go back to the user settings, go to the other users, and we can remove the account and data for the Microsoft account that we signed in with. Whether that be your own personal Microsoft account or just a temporary one that you made up for setting up Windows. So now there's only one account on the computer and that is a local administrator account. You are going around the houses a little bit doing it this way. Obviously you've got to have a Microsoft account or create one. You've got to sign into Windows and you've got to um, create this local account and delete the old one. It's slightly time consuming, but I'd say this is probably the most Microsoft approved way of uh, using the computer with a local uh, account. Uh, the following two ways I'll show you now, they do require workarounds, which Microsoft might not take into account in future updates and other things that they do with the operating system. So although it will probably be fine, it is worth considering uh, that they won't be taking into account that people might be doing these next two ways of signing in as a local user, which are significantly easier than this way. Okay, for these second two methods of signing into Windows 11 without a Microsoft account, you need to make sure that the computer is disconnected from wireless and the network cable is disconnected from the back so the computer's got no network connection through the setup. And then what we're going to do is go through the setup as normal. Uh, to beat these because this was the previous installation. Okay, so at this point here where it's saying, uh, let's connect you to a network, it doesn't wanna let you proceed, it doesn't wanna let you sign in as a local user. So we're pressing Shift and F10. And then we are typing in OOBE backslash Bypass NRO. So that's going to restart the setup procedure. And now after that reset, you can see that we have this little button down here that's come up that says, I don't have internet. So we click that. Continue with limited setup. And now we can set up the computer with a local account. Okay, here we are signed into Windows. We're signed in with our local user account, which you can see here down the bottom. And then when we go to the users settings, you can see there's just a local user account 
giving us the option to sign in as a Microsoft account. Okay, and this is the third way that you can bypass the requirement to sign in with a Microsoft account. So once again, we're going into the Microsoft setup without any network connection, so not connected to any wireless and without any network cables plugged in. Okay, so this is probably one of the hackiest ways of uh, bypassing this, um, but I suspect it will probably be the sort of longest living way to do it. So once again, we're here at this screen where it's saying you've got no internet connection. Uh, just remember if you're doing this on a laptop um, with a wireless card in it, it will probably come up with options to connect to a wireless uh, network here, but obviously don't connect to it. Um, so what we're gonna do again is click Shift and F10. It's going to bring up a command prompt window. Then we can type in task MGR, press enter. That's going to bring up the task manager. Go to more, and then we're going to scroll down through the list of processes, and we're looking for this one here that says network connection flow. So click on that one, click end task. And then we can close the task manager, close the command prompt. And now you can see the network connection flow has closed and it's just asking us to type in a local user account. So once again, we can type in local user and we're off. Cool, there we go, we're logged into Windows. Once again, signed in with the local user. We can just check that by going into the user settings. And there we go, signed in with the local user account. No other Microsoft accounts on the system. That's it, no other accounts. And there we go. So those are three ways uh, that you can sign into Microsoft Windows 11 without a Microsoft account and using a local account. I'm not sure how long they're gonna last for, but they seem to be working for the moment. Microsoft seems to be making a concerted effort to get people to sign in with Microsoft accounts, so things may change in the future. Uh, but up to now, that's, uh, that's how you can do it. It'd be interesting to know if you guys wanna leave a comment in the comment section below what you think is the benefits of using a Microsoft account and what you think are the benefits of using a local account and what you think is bad about using a local account and what you think is bad about using a Microsoft account. It'd be interesting to get people's opinions. Other than that, thank you for watching the video. I hope it was useful and we'll see you in the next one.